The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. Chuck, after a month uh, nestling in the cozy confines of Holt Fieldhouse, uh, have to leave the boundaries of Jefferson City uh, and challenge a team on the road, and you head off to the Electric City to face a very good uh, Anderson team that won 11 home games a year ago and is always tough to play uh, in the Abney Athletic Center. What are you hoping out of your team as they've matured and developed uh, over the first month of the season, but developed at home? Well, I think we, uh, I'm hoping, and I think we can take some of the things that we've discovered about ourselves. Uh, I think we can take those things on the road with us. I think they travel well. Um, but we, we, we're, we're, now, we're now past the, the, the non-conference slate, and it's, it's, you know, every day, every game moving forward is, has got significance and critical importance. So uh, we're doing, I think we're doing the job of helping our guys understand that. Um, and um, and I've, I've really pressed upon them the fact that I think uh, uh, Anderson's uh, venue, Anderson's uh, feel for home games is, is, is one of the best in the conference, and that uh, we, we need to take our, our best on the road. Uh, best in the conference in terms of home environment, but certainly uh, what's not up for debate is best in the conference in terms of individual scoring. Quinn Nottingham uh, transfers in and has been a star turn, 25 points per game. Uh, he's the second guy that you'll face this season that ranks in the top 10 nationally in terms of scoring. The other was Kings Jordan Floyd, uh, and he ate your lunch for 32 points back on November 9th. Uh, Compare the two, if you would. Uh, I think they're they're very different. Uh, Floyd is um, you know, a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit more athletic, to be honest, and and can and can lift up from NBA range and and and, and sort of set the rest of his game up off of that. Uh, Nottingham's a little bit of an enigma. He 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 can shoot the three, but he does a great job of attacking the rim and. It, you know, six foot, 180 pounds. That's that's challenge. That's tough. But he gets in there and he has he has good high lift and release on his shot. And you know, he, he they they wisely have given him uh, a lot of room to go and find shots. So he's he's putting up 20 shots a game. So uh, he's in a situation where where he is being allowed to be successful. And there's no doubt we've got to have a good countermeasure to that with our defense. How much of that success is also predicated by the fact that it is a three-headed monster? And uh, Sean Bernard and Josh Livingston are combining with him to average 60 a night. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's one 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 big time score is enough to challenge three uh, is a whole nother beast. Uh, you know, those those three guys are top 15 in our league in scoring, and like you said, I mean, they're averaging 75 percent of their team's points, 80 uh, percent of their team's shots, 80 percent of their team's three. So we we know uh, who is who, and and we know sort of what we need to be able to do. Um, but that's on one side of the ball. I mean, we, we've got to go down and, and put points on the board too. You know, we can we can do a great job defensively, and yet if we don't capitalize and score and keep game pressure on, then, then that, that's that's a problem. Uh, have had uh, two nice wins, both by double figures over Wingate and Warren Wilson. Uh, granted, Warren Wilson transitioning to Division Three, and they were winless on the year. But uh, what has your team gotten out of uh, some? On the court success that has been the byproduct of uh, trusting in the process. Well, uh, you know, uh, and you knew this, Kev. We've got new staff, new new roster, uh, doing some things differently in terms of scheme, um, and and all that takes time. And and I'm and I'm um, willing to to embrace that. Uh, but I th I thought maybe quite possibly um, one of the bigger benefits of the last two games, at least was that Trip Davis, who's proven to be uh, a premier sure. contributor for us, was out. And that allowed other people a chance to play more and to get more opportunity and to get comfortable. So, uh, you know, we would have loved to have had Tripp. Uh, and he'll be back this weekend, obviously. But uh, his absence created some other opportunities. And, you know, I, I think we're actually better from it. Chuck, pleasure as always. Good luck this weekend in the Electric City. Thanks, Cap. It's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.